showing back up. And today, we're gonna go through a bunch of rod and reel combos that's gonna offer you the affordability to get out on the water if you're a beginner or if you've been fishing for a long time. So come along with the journey and uh, let's see what we have to offer. The first rod and reel combo we have is a little spinning rod made by Shakespeare. So this is gonna be the cheapest out of the rod and reel combos we're gonna to cover today. So this rod and reel right here, it doesn't even have a name. So uh, I picked it up at Walmart for around 20 bucks. So this is gonna give you the ability to get out on the water on a budget, catch those fish, and you're gonna be just as effective as if you had the high expensive equipment. So this right here, it has a cork handle which is fairly decent for 20 bucks. You can't really go wrong. It's pre-spooled with monofilament line. Uh, I would say around 10 pound test is what typically comes on. And the rod is pretty flexible. It's a medium action and it's a six foot rod. So a good little beginner spinning rod. And it has plenty of give. And these little eyelets seem to be pretty good as well. Uh, I think they're polymer inserts. But the point of it is, this is going to get you out on the water with not a lot of money invested into it. Okay, let's look at the reel here a little bit, a little bit of a close up. Nothing fancy, folks. It's just a plastic handle or a plastic knob. It does have a drag setting. The gear ratio is 5.5 to 1, which is fairly normal. These spinning reels, they don't have a lot of fast action going on. And it only has one ball bearing. But guys, don't get caught up too much on the bearing count. I've found that a lot of cheaper reels that only have one, two, three ball bearings, they're actually not even that bad. Okay, so don't get too caught up on it. I've seen reels that have 11, 12 bearings and they're not even that smooth, so don't get too caught up. All right, so this is gonna be your cheapest option to go for uh, whenever you walk through Walmart or whatever retail store you're going to to buy your fishing equipment. This is one of the cheaper spin cast combos I could find uh, that would actually hold up, and Zebco makes this, and they're actually known for really good spin cast wheels. I remember fishing as a kid, I always had the Zebco spin cast reel. Uh, but it's paired up with a Shakespeare Easy Cast two piece rod. Once again, this is only a six foot rod in a medium action. Okay, this one is a medium action, but it's a little bit stiffer of a rod than that previous one. So you'll find there's a little bit of variance between what a company thinks of medium action and what a, another company thinks is. Uh, this has a really nice handle on it and it's actually a larger style handle that you'll find on a lot of premium bait casters. So there's a little surprise there. One good thing about this one folks is if you're new to fishing and you really can't indicate when you have a strike or whatever or if you're fishing a Senko and you're just letting it sit for you know a minute two minutes at a time it actually has a bite indicator. So you turn the bite indicator on right here that's the bite indicator you flip it to the on position and when that fish takes the line you can hear it it's just like a typical drag that you would hear on another spinning rod or something and then before you set the hook and stuff you want to engage that off to make sure you're not going to have any line just peeling off all right so this rod and reel combo would set you back around 35 bucks if you were to go buy this together. Uh, they also offer the Zebco um, rod and reel combo together. I think it's around 35 bucks as well. So you can't go wrong with this. This is gonna get you out on the water. It's gonna get you catching fish and you're gonna have a lot of fun and enjoy it. All right, folks, climbing up the ladder on the price ranges here, at, sitting at 40 bucks, we have the Ugly Stick made by Shakespeare as well the GX2 model. Okay, it has a pretty nice little uh, rod. It has the Ugly Stick logo there. Nice red accents. 
And guys, the rod, I'm actually really impressed. It has stainless steel O-ring guides. It has a glass tip. It's also gonna offer a lot of strength and flexibility uh, when you're fighting this fish. And this rod is also a medium action, but this is in a six foot, six inch rod. For the money, this actually offers you the best entry level features. So this has a nice aluminum spool and it's got weight reduction cuts. It's actually pretty nice. The gear ratio is five, two to one. All right, and folks, you can spool this, it says with six pounds, eight pounds, and you're gonna get up to 200 yards of line on this spool. But to take it to the next level, folks, I always like to run braided line on my spinning rods. And if you wanna scour videos on YouTube as to why that is, uh, or if you've ever used monofilament line that typically comes on these rod and reel combos, you're gonna to wanna to switch it out because they get what is called line twist. And you're gonna be fighting that rod and reel the whole day, you're gonna be fighting that line and it's just not fun. Braided line does not give you any line twists and it just feeds back onto that spool very smoothly. And it's gonna offer you more strength and dependability. All right guys, this uh, does have the zero reverse system. So what that means is if you're reeling forward, it will not reel backwards. It locks it into place. So that's a really nice feature. It has four ball bearings in this reel, which is moving up the ladder. Typically with the higher price, you're gonna get more ball bearings. Not always the case. It has a nice little drag system. So this is actually pretty nice, folks. So like I said, this is gonna set you back around 40 bucks, and it's gonna get you a little bit more bang for the buck. Folks, this is a 3000 series reel, and that's what we typically like to go for for bass fishing. Anything smaller than that is usually seen in trout fishing applications. But this is a nice, nice rod and reel combo. Very good looking rod. This one as well has stainless steel uh, guides. And this one is a full carbon rod blank in an IM6. So it's a lower grade carbon rod, uh, but for the money, it's really nice. Typically with IM7, IM8, you're gonna get a lighter rod, but with that, you actually are giving up some of the, the uh, dependability a lot of times because a lot of times those lighter carbon rods are actually more fragile. So if you're a weekend fisherman, you're used to throwing this in the back of your truck and just you know beating it up, those IM8 rods are probably not for you. You actually might bust one. So uh, sticking with that budget mindset, this is a good way to go. All right, one thing about this is their, their uh, reel seat is really nice. It has a little bit of a skeletonized piece here that's gonna offer you the ability when you're fishing, you can actually feel uh, the sensitivity of the rod a little bit better. Okay, give you a close up of the reel here. Really nice looking reel. Once again, this has the zero reverse, so uh, it will not reel backwards. So if you're fighting a fish, it's not gonna just keep spooling out. Nice little handle here. It is a rubberized handle, which is really nice. You know, a lot of rods at this price range, just like the GX2 Ugly Stick, it just had a plastic handle, which I'm not too big of a fan of, but this actually gets you a nice rubberized handle. Okay, this American Hero actually has a six, two to one gear ratio, which is the fastest out of all the spinning combos we've seen so far. So this means with every turn of the reel handle, you're gonna be pulling in more line, which is gonna get that fish 
closer to your boat with each and every reel. All right, so I also have braided line spooled onto this reel, which again, like I said before, is gonna offer you the ability to not be dealing with all of those line twists and stuff that you see with monofilament line. All right, it has a nice bail system on it. One thing I like about this reel that you don't see on a lot of other ones is this stainless steel guide right here actually feeds that line back into the place where it needs to go. A lot of times you'll see the line just kind of hanging out out here. Well, this actually feeds it back in. So it's a really nice feature that Lou's incorporated on this. All right, this has a five bearing system. And this is probably the smoothest reel that we've seen so far, okay? Once again, that's probably to be expected due to the price point going up. Okay, so this is the Lose American Hero spinning combo. And guys, one thing about the American Hero line, you know, I am an active duty Air Force member. You know, all of the proceeds and stuff, every single time you buy a American Hero rod, whether that is a spinning or a casting rod combo, or just the rods themselves, uh, I think it's like 10 or 15% actually go to that American Hero Foundation. So it goes back to our men and women in uniform. Lastly, we have the best spinning rod, in my opinion, that you can get at Walmart. Okay, keeping it with that blue collar theme, which is budget friendly all the time. I don't buy anything that's expensive. Okay, why go out and spend 200 bucks on a spinning combo when I can go to Walmart and get one that is got to hold up, it's gonna last, it's gonna perform for 60 bucks. Okay, so this is the Lose Xfinity Speed Stick and Spinning Reel. Okay, so the Xfinity line is a, an exclusive Walmart only rod and reel. Okay, so they have a bunch of different Xfinity rods and reels. Uh, they typically have this flashy green, flashy orange, yellow. All right, they look really good. And guys, with this, you get a step up. You get an IM7 rod. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit lighter. This rod and reel is really light and it's really durable in my opinion. It has stainless steel guide inserts, which is gonna offer you longevity, dependability. They're not gonna pop out. They're riveted in really nice or press fitted. And folks, this is a one piece rod. So a one piece rod does not separate in the middle where you can take it apart for you know traveling a car or things like that. This is more in line with what you know, your professional anglers and, and rods are, okay? They're usually a one piece. Okay, so one thing that's awesome about a one piece, you're not constantly having to fight with aligning the guides. If with a two piece, a lot of times they'll twist and then you go to set the, the hook on a fish and those aren't aligned, you know, you're gonna have some issues. Your line might get cut. All right, so one thing I like about this is the wind grips that you get. For 60 bucks, you get wind grips on your rock. That's crazy. You get this nice little Lou's branded wind knob. And that, that's just awesome. It's a nice textured knob. It's gonna offer you slip resistance or it has inclement weather. You know, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna keep your hand steady on this reel. This right here also has a zero reverse and it also has a 6.2 to 1 gear ratio just like the American Hero series did. All right on this guys you get eight ball bearings which in this case it is going to give you the smoothest casting and functioning reel out of all the ones we've seen today. Once again, it has the same proprietary reel seat that Luz is known for, and it's really nice. 
That gives you a nice, comfortable grip on the rod. Get you in a nice position to reel in those big fish. Okay, nice drag setting. One thing you get with this rod and reel, or the reel in specific, it actually has a positive click when you pop the bail back, which is a nice feature because if you've ever been dealing with a lot of spinning rods, you know that sometimes that doesn't click into place. And this one actually lets you know when it's in place. So that's a pretty awesome feature. And guys, that is super smooth. You can just hear that, how smooth that is. All right, and then if you're into that green, flashy color like I am, you can tell this kayak behind me, I love this high-vis green, as well as the braid I've put on this. Guys, if you want a link to the braid, this is a reaction tackle braid. I'll put it in the description box, but it's from Amazon. This is in a 40 pound test. And then I've coupled that with a 17 pound test fluorocarbon leader. Okay, and I'll uh, explain in future videos how to actually tie a fluorocarbon leader to your braid. And this is gonna give you a better fishing trip whenever you're out. It's gonna be a lot more manageable throughout the fishing day. All right guys, so today we talked about five different rod and reel combos. We talked about starting from the very lowest end of our budget being around 20, 25 bucks with this Shakespeare rod and reel combo. We then moved up to a spin cast rod and reel combo that's gonna offer the very, very beginner fishermen the ease and castability they're looking for to get out there and fish on the water, not have to deal with all those complicated bait casters and spinning reels. Okay, the next one we have was the GX2 Shakespeare Ugly Stick Rod. That one come in around 40 bucks, and you can find these at Walmart as well. And then the American Hero, made by Luz. That one comes in around 40, 45 bucks as well. And then lastly, the king of the day, 60 bucks, you have the Luz Xfinity Speed Stick and Speed Spin Combo. Okay, I'll put the link in the description box for most of these. You might not be able to find they're very far too because they're a little bit mis mis mixed and matched. Uh, but the other ones you should be able to find. Please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you like what we're doing here. And guys, if you have any questions about any of these budget-friendly options, please list those in the comment box below. I'll be glad to answer any questions. And, you know, just get out there and fish. It doesn't matter if it's 20, 25 bucks. Go out there, have fun, do it on a budget. You know, tell somebody else about fishing. Get out there, get your buddies out, have them fish. You know, re-energize this sport. Okay, especially during this COVID situation. You can get out during COVID. You can fish by yourself, you know, socially distance with a friend, and you're gonna do it in a safe manner. All right, thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video.